Hey, Nergenic Nation, and welcome to History Of. I'm your host and resident superhero nerd, Aaron Waller, and this is a series where we do a deep dive into various comic book characters, both heroes and villains, and give a little bit more insight as to who they are and why they do what they do. And in today's video, we're talking about one of DC's biggest fan favorite characters, and that's Booster Gold. Booster Gold was created by Dan Jurgens and first appeared in the self-titled comic in 1986. Before he became a superhero, he was born Michael John Carter in Gotham City during the 25th century. He had a twin sister and never knew his father as he was a gambler. Michael would grow up to be a gifted young athlete and get a football scholarship at Gotham University where he would become the star quarterback. That is until his father came back into his life and convinced him to throw games to help him win money. Michael would then be exposed and expelled to which he would eventually get a job at the Metropolis Space Museum and he would study heroes and villains of the past. Kind of sounds like this series. With the help of his sidekick robot Skeets, Michael would steal a flight ring, force field belt, and a time sphere from the museum that he worked to travel back to the 20th century with the determination to become a superhero himself. He would also form an entire corporation around him being a hero and make quite the name and living for himself. Mind you, he was also very different from any of the other heroes in that he not only invited but also relished in the spotlight. He would then use his nickname from his football days, Booster, and combine it with his new hero named Goldstar and take up the name Booster Gold after saving the president. He would then continue heroing in the Metropolis until the death of his sister turned sidekick and leaves his recently founded successful company to Dirk Davis, who ends up being a manhunter and ends up bankrupting Booster. He would go on to join the Justice League in the 80s and 90s where he would meet his most famous partner, Blue Beetle, who he would become very good friends with. After many cohorts and hijinks, Booster ends up leaving the Justice League and forms his own superhero team, the Conglomerates, a group sponsored by corporations. But after too much interference, Booster just ends up leaving and rejoining the Justice League. To be honest, I really didn't know what he was expecting here. During Infinite Crisis, Booster would be briefly branded a criminal for hijacking historical records, ends up searching for a new blue beetle Jaime Reyes and helps him and Batman bring down the Brother Eye satellite. After Infinite Crisis, Booster would go through a wild adventure during the 52 comic where he would once again have a ruined reputation and a new hero, Supernova, would appear. This would turn out to be Booster himself in disguise after he faked his death and then jumps around through time taking various weapons and the famous 52 Worlds plotline would be introduced. I won't go too deep into the story because it involves a lot of time travel, jumping around, and a lot of complications, but make sure you stick around to the end of the video because this arc might reappear later. Booster Gold will then get another solo series after the 52 story arc and submits to rejoin the Justice League. He would end up being once again dragged into a time jumping adventure with Rip Hunter and three Blue Beetles to save the second Blue Beetle and Booster's best friend, Ted Kord. Unfortunately, they're unable to do so as he ends up sacrificing himself, but we do learn that his sister can be saved with the help of Rip Hunter and that Rip Hunter is even Booster Gold's son. I told you it gets complicated. He would end up making appearances through Green Lantern's Blackest Night and Brightest Day stories as well as during Flashpoint, though in both he mostly appears in tie-in comics dealing with his own past. Or is it his future? Well, never mind, you get it. During the New 52, Booster would once again head the Justice League International, that is until a string of attacks leaves various members wounded or dead. He would eventually be confronted by a future version of himself once again and warned to keep Superman and Wonder Woman from dating. He would then once again bounce around the timeline and get help from various parts of the multiverse in an incredibly wild story arc called The Convergence. But once DC Rebirth rolled around, things would once again start anew and Booster would appear in Action Comics number 992. It's here that he would go on to try and stop Superman after he uses the cosmic treadmill to go back in time to save Krypton. He would end up being imprisoned by Superman's father Jor-El for throwing a football game. Remember, Booster is originally from the future, to which he would eventually break out with the help of Superman and would set the timeline right once again and Booster would end up saving Lois Lane and their son John. Booster Gold would then go on to return to Gotham and be confronted by Batman, but the Dick Grayson Batman, as Booster had given Bruce a gift of traveling through time and saving his parents in order to teach him that even though terrible things happen, it's sometimes for the better. To which Bruce would go on to threaten Booster and say that he wanted to live this better life. In order to set things right, Booster would then go on to break out Selina Kyle from a mental hospital to which unbeknownst to him would happen to be a serial killer and introduce her to Bruce. To which she would end up killing everyone but Bruce and escape with Dick Grayson's Batman. To which Booster is then captured by Batman and tells him to go back in time and prevent his parents murder. Now Booster Gold has also appeared outside of his massive comic run in not only video games, not only animation, but also live action. 
He's appeared most often in the DC LEGO video games as well as DC Universe Online, and is also on a poster in Batman Arkham Knight. In the world of animation, Booster Gold has appeared in Justice League Unlimited, Batman the Brave and the Bold, and a couple of other projects, and Booster Gold has also made several appearances in live action, including an appearance on Smallville where he was portrayed by Eric Martzolf, and most recently appeared on Legends of Tomorrow where he was played by Scrubs star Donald Faison. Now in terms of powers and abilities, Booster Gold doesn't really have any despite just being an exceptional athlete. His abilities come from the artifacts from the museum in the future, which include a Legion flight ring, force field belt, power suit, time travel circuitry, gauntlets, and a visor device with infrared and magnifying abilities. And now for my favorite segment here on History of the recommended reading where I give you some comics to get to know this character even better and see him in action. First up we have Booster Gold number 1 from 1986 which was of course the character's first appearance and always a great place to start. Next I would recommend Justice League number 4 from 1987. This is where Booster Gold would end up joining the Justice League. And I would also recommend Countdown to Infinite Crisis. This story focuses more on Blue Beetle, but it does have some really good Blue Beetle Booster Gold back and forth, so it's definitely worth checking out. But some of my all-time favorites include 52, which is a time-traveling adventure with multiverse-style boosters, Action Comics number 992, which is the story of stopping Superman from saving Krypton, and of course there's Batman volume number 3, number 45 through 47. And this is the arc where I talk about Booster saving Bruce's parents, and it's very Flashpoint-esque and definitely worth a read. So those are some of the major things you need to know about Booster Gold. Did you learn anything in this video you may not have known otherwise? Let me know it down in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to leave me a comment suggesting any characters you would like to see on this series. Your suggestion just might become next week's video. But also while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the Nergenic team. And be sure to follow us across all social media platforms at Nergenic so you don't miss out on any special news, announcements, or articles at Nergenic.com. And if you just so happen to want to be a very kind member of the Nergenic Nation and support this channel even more, be sure to check out the Patreon link down in the description down below so you can contribute to make sure this channel only continues to get better. But in the meantime, if you want even more video content from us, check out these videos on screen like the rest of my history of playlist right over here. Or for you video game fans, check out this video from Russ where he talks about the coolest video game swords. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it and we hope to see you in the next video.